CNBC's Seema Modi is with us now. Hi, Seema. Good evening, Shep. As Americans reemerge from the pandemic life, ready to socialize and gather, Airbnb is cracking down on party houses, teaming up with Expedia's Verbo to ban hosts who allow wild parties. It's an industry-wide collaboration to share information on bad actors and reduce the chances of a repeat offender. One thing we've noticed is, okay, Airbnb takes down a home, but it's on Verbo, or Verbo takes down a home, and then they just jump over to Airbnb. That isn't necessarily solving the neighbor's problem. So-called party houses have been a long problem for the short-term rental industry. Airbnb has banned unauthorized events for a couple years now, but according to some residents, they're still happening. When you have uh, uh, party houses, and what they do is they make bedrooms out of the garages, they put bunk beds in the living areas, they want to get as many people in there as they can. Long-term resident of Bethune Beach, Schrader says parties are disruptive, trash often left on the streets of his neighborhood, noise throughout the night. Now, if you are planning to rent out your home this summer and want to reduce the chances of rowdy guests, Airbnb recommends setting house rules and communicate them early on. For those who are planning to party this July 4th weekend, guests who do not have a history of positive reviews on Airbnb will be unable to make a one-night reservation. Shep? Seema, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.